My name is uh, Jan Huytma. I'm a member of the European Parliament since 2014 and um, I'm the lead negotiator on the zero emission cars. Uh, bring it on. If you make these kind of rules, you must really hate cars. Absolutely not. I love cars. I'm a big fan of cars. I'm a big Formula One fan. And I love technique and especially combustion engines. When I was a kid, I grew up on a farm and the agriculture technique, tractors, I love it. So no, I really don't hate cars. Thanks to you, I can leave my sports car in the garage after 2035. This is absolutely false. Because this legislation is not about existing cars, but it's about new cars placed on the market after 2035. These cars have to be zero emission. So if you have a car in the garage, you can still drive it even after 2035. That's not, not a problem at all. And also I've been in contact with a lot of car manufacturers, also that those that produce sports cars, and they are developing also new cars after 2035 that are zero emission. So also then there is plenty of uh, availability of sports cars. How will I get anywhere? There are not enough charging stations in Europe. Well, this is actually a good point. That's why we're working on new European legislation that on forcing member states to come forward with enough charging stations. But not only that, also there is a very good business uh, model in placing charging stations. So also the market will come forward with enough charging stations. I can't even afford a petrol car. You made driving for rich people only. Well, this is a good point. This is actually my motivation to be the lead negotiator on this file, because I really don't want that, for example, electric driving is only for the rich people, because the purchasing price of that car is so high. So with this legislation, we enforce car manufacturers to also reduce the price, and also that we create a second-hand and a third-hand market much sooner. There is no way we have enough raw materials or chips to build, to build all these new clean cars. Well, this is a very good point. But we should not forget that we are now very dependent on fossil fuels from, for example, Russia to all fuel our cars, cars at the moment. Uh, but we should not exchange this dependency for another dependency, namely on raw materials. But this is not only applying for electric or hydrogen cars. This is also applies for the petrol and, uh, and diesel cars, but it also applies to the whole transition, energy transition that we have, that we should have in the European Union. So also for windmills, solar panels, robots, uh, other uh, electric equipment. Uh, it's not the case that there are not enough raw materials in the world, but the European Union does not have enough access to those critical raw materials. So that is something we have to do. And therefore the European Union launched also the Critical Raw Material Act and the CHIPS Act to get better hands on those raw materials. So very good question. Is there a future for Formula One? Absolutely yes. This legislation does not apply to racing, so also not Formula One. Um, how do I see the future then of Formula One? That, that depends. Maybe they will go to hydrogen or maybe electric, but I do also see that they are developing the so-called synthetic fuels. That is, for example, petrol, but made out of uh, electricity. And that can be very interesting because we have also an existing fleet at the moment that we have to decarbonize. So maybe we can use also those synthetic fuels to run our existing fleet on in order to also uh, reduce CO2 emission. 